Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to a, another video. Um, this video was requested um, a couple of months ago. It's been a long time that this video has been requested. Um, if you go to the community tab on my channel, I put a section of like requested videos that people want. You can still go on there and put requests because like I said, I'm always up for having requests to make videos. Um, I'm 39 weeks pregnant today. So getting close to the end now, um, but yeah, the last couple of months I've sort of been preoccupied with pregnancy um, and trying to sort through all of that, trying to sort work. I've got, this week is my last week of work, so on Friday I finish, it's my birthday next week. Babies due the day before my birthday, but they're probably gonna be late. They are like my first baby, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, today's video is on stimming. So I've done videos on stimming before that I can link um, below this video. Um, but this one's a little bit more sort of detailed, like a little bit different into what stimming actually feels like, what it actually does for someone who's autistic. Um, and if you don't know what stimming is, stimming is the term for self stimulatory behaviour. Um, and that's like a repetitive behaviour that offers someone sort of like a relief or calm or yeah it's like repetitive behaviours um, and basically I'm going to talk a little bit about my experiences with stimming um, a lot of people who aren't autistic or neurodiverse diverse stim um, a lot of neurotypical people stim but probably don't realise that it's stimming so um, you can see a lot of people uh, when they're a little bit stressed or a little bit bored they might click the top of their pen like things like that that's like stimming or shaking your knee under a table like those sort of things um, but stimming for me I've always stimmed um, I wasn't diagnosed with autism until I was an adult um, but looking back I did stim but sort of more discreet stims I'd say um, from videos of me as a toddler there's a lot of hand flapping um, going on but back in the 90s that might have not really been picked up as um, possibly being autism especially in girls um, a lot of toddlers do that sort of thing without being autistic um, but I did do a lot of hand flapping um, a lot of sort of physical stims like walking around um, doing repetitive movements in those those sort of ways um, and then it sort of and then I'd say sort of older childhood teenagers it was the more sort of discreet or seen as typical stimming that um, non-autistic people would do like the pen lid clicking or shaking your leg under a table tapping things um, the sort of discreet things that unless you were properly watching someone you probably wouldn't see them doing anything um, and then uni I didn't get my diagnosis until I think it was like second or third year of uni um, but uni was quite a stressful time so and I was stimming a lot then I was having meltdowns that I know now were autistic meltdowns but then I didn't know they were meltdowns um, and in college before I went to uni I was getting those as well they were kind of like I thought they were just like long drawn out panic attacks but I'd become non-verbal, um, be rocking back and forth, like doing those sort of repetitive behaviours. Um, but I didn't really, I had heard of autism but I hadn't really associated that with myself at that point. Um, in college I was in the middle of an eating disorder, um, my mental health was really bad so I kind of just put it all down to that but they were autistic meltdowns um, and a lot of stimming during those was rocking back and forth. Um, I used to like bite my hands quite a lot. Um, sorry, there's people, there's like people sorting the house next door, so it's a bit loud. Um, yeah, I would always like bite my hands. Um, I went through a phase at uni during autistic meltdowns of putting my finger like in my throat. Like it was really weird. Like I had like no control over it. It's like my hand would automatically go there, like a sort of gag reflex. Um, what else was there? Um, a lot of the hand sort of movements, hand flapping, um, those sort of things, vocal stimming or noises, um, and all of these things at uni, 
majority of my stimming would be down to um, negative sort of emotions. So feeling really anxious, feeling really overwhelmed, um, feeling really like sad. Um, and then those stims would come out in those ways. So I'd say my stimming is a lot more self-injurious during negative emotions um, than it is when I'm happy. So in terms of the not negative stims but the stims that can sort of become self-injurious with a hand biting putting my hands down my throat skin picking was quite common um repeatedly repeatedly like hitting your head against objects um or the floor and things like that so obviously that's some type of stimming that can be can cause self-injury um but lately you know like the last year or so like my mood's been quite good um my mental health's been really good it has been a little bit impacted with pregnancy and all the hormones and things but i'd say probably 70 percent of any stimming that i do now is because i'm happy like um like a happy you know if you're over excited or happy a lot of hand flapping rocking vocal sounds um those sort of things are like my happy stims um but sometimes i do it and i don't think there's like an emotion it's not like i'm happy or sad or overwhelmed or anxious but i get this sudden like need to like stim um i don't know it's maybe like the way your body processes emotions as an autistic person i think sometimes your body just needs that kind of like reset like it's like you just have this urge to move like this urge to do these repetitive behaviors to and it feels good like it kind of just releases all that energy and calms you down i have a lot of those um random moments like it could be when i'm just sitting there watching tv and then i suddenly have a little like burst of stimming um all those sort of things so sometimes it can be a little bit random um for me and yeah sometimes it is associated with negative emotions but thankfully i haven't had that sort of stimming for a little while it's usually if i'm excited or if i suddenly feel this urge to stim um there are some people that stim probably 90 percent or more of their day um you know that that just that just helps them regulate consistently throughout the day so they stim um all the time um some people only stim in certain situations if they're anxious or whatever um but yes yeah, stimming for an autis autistic person help can help regulate general emotions it can help sort of bring you back to baseline if you experience emotions a lot stronger than other people sometimes it can just be like a comfort thing it can be nice to stim in that sense and then you've also got repetitive behaviors that kind of link to stimming that are obviously autistic traits as well so like um lining up objects repeatedly stacking objects sorting objects into certain things um they're like a lot of repetitive behaviors found in autism and that can be a form of stimming that can be quite comforting and quite calming so that's my experience of stimming um and it's obviously been quite hard to process my experience of things like stimming and stuff because i was doing that way before i knew what autism was or way before i had a diagnosis i grew up the majority of my you know i grew up most of my well all of my childhood not knowing that i was autistic um and now obviously i'm only like a couple of years post being diagnosed and still trying to work out what all of that means and how that relates to autism and how it affects me so yeah that's my experience um i'd love to hear your guys experiences of stimming what what sort of stims do you do when do you do stimming um and yeah if you have any questions i'll answer them in the comments if you have any video requests please 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 put them below because that means i can get more videos out to you guys and it motivates me to make videos um but yeah it has been hard being pregnant and obviously baby will be here soon so i'll be a little bit wrapped up with baby initially um but i'm hoping because i'm going to be on maternity for a long time that i will have time to make more videos so definitely put video requests down below about anything um 
could be about autism about disabilities it could be general things that you want me to make videos on it could be about pregnancy it could be about um you know when i'm when i become a mum um because that i feel like that might be quite interesting to talk about as well because as an autistic person i can't seem to find many experiences or information about people with autism becoming parents there's a lot of parents of autistic children a lot of information about that but trying to come to terms with motherhood and raising a child when you have autism I feel like that might be quite a good experience to share and talk about to help people so yeah thank you for watching and um i'll see you soon i hope you have a good day bye